Here are the biggest shoe deals in the NBA, featuring private jets, billion-dollar contracts, and best friends being paid hundreds of thousands of dollars? At the top of the list is Clay Thompson, who signed a rookie endorsement deal with Nike three years after being drafted by the Golden State Warriors in 2011. When his contract with Nike expired, Clay had the option to re-sign with the company or switch to Adidas. But he surprised everyone by signing with with Chinese sneaker brand Anta Sports in 2014 for a whopping $80 million over 10 years. In an interview with Nice Kicks, Clay explained his reasoning behind this unexpected move. I knew what the other brands in the States, whether it was Nike or Adidas, it was going to be tough for me to get a signature shoe. I knew with Anta, I would have so much input creatively. I was going to hopefully be the Michael Jordan one day of Anta. Today, it has proven to be the correct decision, as Clay Thompson has now launched eight distinct signature shoe models with Anta Sports. Coming in at number two is Damian Lillard, known for his unwavering loyalty. Lillard first signed a rookie deal with Adidas in 2012 and later inked a 10-year extension in 2014, potentially worth up to $100 million. In 2015, Lillard launched his inaugural signature shoe, the D. Lillard One, which has garnered widespread admiration and success across the basketball community. The signature line was eventually rebranded as Dame, and Lillard has now released a total of eight signature sneakers. Although his endorsement deal expires in 2024, it is highly unlikely that Lillard will continue his partnership with Adidas. At number three on the list is Derek Rose, who entered the league in 2008 and immediately signed an endorsement deal with Adidas for $1.5 million annually. However, after being named Rookie of the Year and becoming the youngest MVP in NBA history in 2011, Rose's initial deal no longer sufficed. The following year, Adidas and Rose signed a 13-year extension worth a staggering $185 million complete with some unbelievable perks. Adidas must pay Rose's older brother Reggie Rose $300,000 a year, as well as his best friend since sixth grade $75,000 per year. Additionally, Adidas grants Rose access to their private jet, ensuring that the youngest MVP in history never has to wait in the airport again. Derrick Rose's shoe deal is one of the most remarkable sneaker deals in history. At number four, we have Kyrie Irving, who, prior to his controversial split with Nike in 2022, had one of the most successful basketball sneaker lines and one of the most significant endorsement deals with the swoosh. The deal brought in a whopping $11 million annually for Irving. Although the deal was terminated early, Irving plans to take a different approach in his search for a new home for his signature sneaker. He aims to have more creative control alongside equity in the company. Given the success of his sneaker line with Nike, we eagerly anticipate where Kyrie Irving will end up next. So be sure to leave your predictions in the comments below. At number five, we have Russell Westbrook, who signed an endorsement deal with Jordan Brand back in 2013. After an incredible performance in 2016, resulting in his MVP win, Jumpman and Westbrook signed a historic 10-year mega extension contract, making it the biggest contract in Jordan brand history. Westbrook's love for double-doubles and triple-doubles led him to have two signature shoes simultaneously, an on-court model and a lifestyle model. Although Jumpman discontinued the lifestyle model, the encore version, which is the sixth iteration of the why Not is set to release later this year. At number six, we have Giannis Antetokounmpo. As an unknown and skinny kid from Greece, Giannis secured a Nike endorsement deal that paid him $25,000 a year. However, in 2017, after his contract with Nike expired, he had multiple brands pursuing him, from Adidas to Li Ning. Despite the competition, Giannis stayed loyal to the brand that believed in him from the beginning and signed a new deal, which gave him a significant raise of over $10 million per year. 
two years later, in 2019, Giannis received his first signature sneaker. He never forgot his humble beginnings when he couldn't afford shoes and had to share a single pair with his brother. That's why he advocates for signature sneakers to be affordable for everyone, with retail prices under $130, which is notably cheaper than some of LeBron's sneakers that can sell for up to $225. At number 7, Zion Williamson was a basketball prodigy, making waves even before entering the league. He graced the cover of Slam magazine and even caught the attention of music icon Drake, who donned his high school jersey. Such hype hadn't been seen since LeBron James entered the scene. After completing his freshman year at Duke and being drafted by the Pelicans, Zion was pursued by various shoe brands. He ultimately signed a lucrative seven-year, $75 million contract with Jordan, making it his biggest rookie shoe deal since LeBron. Though his signature sneaker sales were average, Zion also put his design skills to use with an Air Jordan 1 Low Edition that quickly sold out and is now fetching over $300 on the resale market. Number 8. In his early days in the NBA, James Harden signed with Nike, hoping to eventually receive his own signature shoe. Despite wearing the Hyperchase shoe with his own logo, the opportunity never materialized. When Kyrie Irving received his own signature shoe before Harden, it left him feeling furious. After his Nike contract expired in 2015, Adidas made a strong push to sign Harden and his iconic beard, ultimately offering him a whopping $200 million contract. Just a year later, Harden's signature sneaker was released and quickly became a fan favorite, achieving exceptional sales numbers. With the success of his signature line, Harden became the face of Adidas basketball, leading some to wonder if Nike regrets their decision after parting ways with Kyrie. At number 9, Stephen Curry, who came from an unknown school, was not a highly sought-after athlete for endorsement deals. After his rookie endorsement deal with Nike expired, Curry and his family attended meetings with major shoe brands. However, Nike made a huge mistake during their meeting. The representatives mispronounced Steph's name and didn't even bother creating a slideshow presentation for him. Instead, they used the same slideshow they had created for Kevin Durant, forgetting to delete Katie's name from a slide. Ain't that some ish? Disrespected by Nike, Curry signed with Under Armour for $4 million a year. Eventually, he got a pay raise that increased his annual pay to $20 million, along with a signature shoe. Curry's signature shoe did well until Under Armour's poor performance in 2018. That same year, Steph expressed the possibility of leaving the brand, but Under Armour and Steph were able to reach an agreement, and the Curry brand was established, giving him the Michael Jordan treatment. Steph and Under Armour are expected to sign an insane billion-dollar lifetime deal. Number 10. Kevin Durant has one of the most successful on-court signature lines in basketball. He received his first signature shoe from Nike in 2009, and they were looking to dominate the basketball sneaker industry. In 2014, Under Armour pursued Durant heavily with a 10-year, $285 million contract offer, causing Nike to panic. Eventually, Nike matched the deal, securing KD long-term. Durant has recently released his 15th signature sneaker, an extremely rare accomplishment. But with his height and precision on the court, who wouldn't want to wear the same shoes as a 7-foot sniper? At number 11, LeBron James was one of the most highly sought-after rookies in NBA history. With his generational talent and every move watched by the world, every shoe brand wanted to sign him, with Reebok even offering him $10 million in high school to not take meetings with any other company. However, James declined and instead signed the biggest sneaker deal for a rookie at $90 million over seven years with Nike. When his contract expired, James made headlines again by signing a lifetime billion-dollar deal with the swoosh. He has hinted at the possibility of expanding and signing other athletes to Team LeBron. Who do you think would be the first athlete to join his team? Let us know in the comments below. Number 12. 
When Michael Jordan entered the NBA in 1984, he was just a rookie with a dream to sign with Adidas, the biggest shoe brand in the game. However, an up-and-coming shoe brand offered him a five-year, $500,000 deal that he couldn't refuse. That little brand turned out to be Nike. And little did they know, they were about to change the game forever. Nike believed in Jordan and decided to give him his signature shoe just a year later, naming it the Air Jordan 1. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for MJ and Nike. In 1985, NBA Commissioner David Stern banned the Air Jordan 1 because of its bold color scheme. Jordan faced a $5,000 fine per game if he wore the shoes, but Nike decided to cover the cost for him. Fast forward nearly three decades later, and Jordans are now one of the most popular shoes in the world. In 2022, Jordan brand raked in a whopping $44.8 billion in revenue, letting MJ pocket over $150 million. With that much money, you're bound to make some silly-ass purchases. Check out this video to see all the stupidly expensive things NBA stars own.